Only one kid in history had ever attempted what Benny was about to. And he got eaten. So we were worried, real worried. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon, shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF flyers. All right, welcome back to the Slate Lace Podcast. We hope you're doing well. Happy Wednesday. Uh, we're doing good on this end, Blair. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. You good? All right. Um, we got a couple, you know, things to get into today. Obviously, Blair's got some some heat out here, so uh, we're going to let him jump into that first. Uh, I see this is not the box, obviously, because you got a New Balance box and a Nike shoe. So yeah, I'm going to pass the mic here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, basically, last, well, no, we did a movie last week, right? So, the week before that, remember I was giving the whole rundown, and basically for the new viewers that are checking in, um, the shoe that's sitting on top that is not inside of the box, uh, we should have did our research, or I should have did the research, to remember uh, specifically what episode I had set it in, but um, I believe it was like three or four, one of the early ones. Probably around when we were talking about the um, the Make Me Care, you know, it has to say oh, Nike, Nike Air. Air. All right. I think it was like that episode. Shout and out, you, shout out. Shout out, to, <laughs> shout out to a long time ago. But in that episode, or one of them, anyways, uh, I was talking about shoes that were coming out and I just had to get, like, at all costs. Um, and so this was the shoe. This was one of the shoes that I had mentioned, which means it's been a long time. And I do remember them saying, and I think I remember saying in the, on the episode too, I was like, it's going to be at least another year before they do it. And it's going to be around summertime. They didn't actually have a release date, but they just said like 2021. So I was just saying it was something I was excited for, but I needed it to happen. And there was like some other shoes that I needed to see them bring back in the OG colorways. And so here we have the Air Max 96 II, which was the shoe that we mentioned over yeah. 50 episodes ago yeah. now. And we um, brought, re-brought back up, you right, you right. And, and then I brought it back up and was talking about how I was trying to catch them because this is actually a woman's shoe. And um, my foot is on the larger side, which makes it more difficult trying to get a woman's shoe because if I'm wearing a man's 13, it's a little bit Ooh. difficult because that's about mm, 14 and a half, 15 in women's, which means there's not a lot of women with a foot that that's, that's that big. If they are, they are athletes, professional yeah. athletes. And usually they're getting customized sneakers. So most shoes are not going that high, you know, uh, basically on the chart because most pe- most women are not wearing a 15. And when it's a woman's shoe, I don't think they necessarily consider men. And even if they do consider men, what the average man's shoe size is, what, maybe a 9 or a 10 or something like that? Yeah. So again, that's still three sizes smaller. So again, I can understand why it doesn't go as large as it does. But I was doing my whole hunting. I was uh, I found out a little late on Nike dot com. So they did have it go all the way up to about a 16 and a half in women's on Nike dot com. But obviously the large size is sold out immediately. And then I was just able to get lucky on this website called Unknown that's uh, based out in Florida. And I, uh, so shout out to them for even carrying them that high, because a lot of places like Extra Butter, you know, um, Whatever. Blair, Blair just, got the sites for I you. Got, I got the sites for you, but basically all of them were not going anything above like a 10. So I didn't have any luck. But then mm. I found on Unknown, I found these guys and I finally got them. So it took me a long time. You know, in 96, we were very, very little, but it's still cool to, you know, kind of see it back in its original form. Yep. Um, I do have these in the, um, this is blue and, and yellow. But the thing was is that they changed the um, the air bubble here. So this is the OG air bubble technology, but they put on a new air bubble technology. So it kind of doesn't make it OG, but at the time I copped because I was concerned that I would never get one of these. And then fast forward like five you years. Do the from, safety cop. Yeah, I had to do my safety cop. So about Just in case, four, you know. <laughs> yeah, I was. But now I'm like, yeah. So so the ones that I just mentioned with the new technology on it, they also released that colorway, which I did mention. And I said that I would wait for the stock market to drop on those because I do believe in due time they will be like eighty or ninety bucks. So I will have both OGs in pure OG form. You know, if you're a purist. 
This is actually the colorway we threw up on the podcast yes, two, yes. two weeks on, ago. On lap, yeah, two weeks yeah. ago. So this is the guy. Okay. Smells good. He's fire, right? Or you don't? No, like, these are dope. Like these it? are dope. Yeah. I, I do like these. Yeah, they clean. Mm -hmm. It's something that Jerry Seinfeld would rock, isn't it? It sure is. Like yeah. it's the silhouette. Yeah. It's got it's, like the little humps. Like something about this little just tongue something, way. Something that you could see him definitely wear. Yep. Shout, shout out, out to Seinfeld. Yeah. Shout out to Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry's the man. You know, he's like this, he's one of the guys that was always wearing sneakers. Him, yep. Spike Lee. You know, when you think about like. Yeah, this non athletes. Is what, these, this is actually dope. Yeah. yeah, seeing these up close. I mean, from the photos, they were cool, but like seeing them in person, it's it's a it's, it's a cool shit. It's not bad at all. Yep. And the uh, and the you price can do point, multiple. I mean, some black jeans with a little. Cuff, you can do so. Oof. A little cuff. You on already it. know. You already know. I got a little, little, little cuffy. Yeah. A little, little cuffy. Yeah. On it, like with some white say. socks. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna look good. Um, but the price point was only one fifty on them. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, you know, not you know bad that's high on a slightly rate for me. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then imagine when I get the next ones for like 80 bucks. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we really talking about winning here. Yep. But I just wanted to go ahead and show these guys, uh, yeah, bring them up here, you know, give them a nice little once over. Those uh, are nice. Yeah. But you know, the moment we've all been waiting for Shoot. here. Shoot. Y'all already seen a box. I can't even believe I yeah. copped. The man been talking about the new <laughs> balance since the dawn of time. The dawn of time. I already told you, uh. From the 2000s. Well, at least this silhouette, but then they dropped that colorway that made it even more desirable yes, for yes. you. So you've but, been talking about this shoe, yes, and then this it. color just blew it out the water. I want to, so we have what, 50, 50, 53, 54 episodes? I want to say. Shout out to 54, though. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been, we, we trekking, we trekking. You know, we, we, we moving along, we gaining traction, so it's kind of cool, it's Shoot. exciting. That's a but, lot. But um, yeah, yeah, we getting there. But I want to say, in, in at least. 15 episodes I've talked about mm -hmm. the New Balance 327 in my love Yeah, we ain't form. really switched up. I have you know. not, yeah, I have not, like, came on, like, late or something like that. From the second I saw the sneaker, I was in love with it because it had vintage vibes. And I've been saying recently that, like, I can't wait for so much time to go by because I feel like this is going to be a legendary shoe. And if it's not, I really don't care because I'm going to keep copping them and then maybe life will be easy for me. Because exactly. no one else will want them. Well, you know that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I know, I know. People but you be know, hopping I, on I, that bandwagon, I, that <laughs> shoe wagon. Oh, I'm wishing. But so basically, March twenty, no, May twenty seventh or twenty eighth was the actual worldwide worldwide release on this sneaker. Mm -hmm. But on the twenty first, I want to say it's the twenty first, nineteenth or twenty first. I don't know why. One of those two days. Anyways, Casablanca did their first release. And so that was three o'clock in the morning, L.A. time, you know, because they like do uh, based on Paris, based on New York, because they're over in like the U.K. Anyways, so they're high end, you know, fashion, but uh, their shoes are always the cheapest thing you can get. I mean, like a T-shirt for them is about one hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, I like their scarves, but they're about three hundred dollars. I like their silk shirts, but they're like six hundred dollars. A jacket is like twelve hundred, you know, like they're not cheap. And their stuff hardly ever like goes on sale. It might for other brands, but not really in regards to the act their actual website. So uh, that morning, uh, I had a trick, and um, I feel I feel weird giving this information away, but we do want to help viewers, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to secure pairs as well. That's, that's, no why matter, that's why they tune in, you know. That's why they tune in. So whether it comes to hats sneakers jackets whatever right it the problem is that it doesn't really help when you're on the sneakers app but one of the things that you want to do is you want to have apple pay apple pay is your best friend when you're going against six million other people i think it's so freaking annoying but yeah i get what you're saying but apple yeah mm -mm. i haven't been a fan of the apple pay well apple pay is what secures these Maybe I got to get with it, but yeah, as far as like, you know, because I have my credit card on there, but it took me forever to like even, what you need, yeah. even do that because the whole setup, I was just like, I don't, I don't want to do this. Put okay, it in the well, wallet and whatnot. Okay. Well, hear how, hear how easy this actually is. So 3 a.m., well, 2.59, I'm sitting here on my phone. Three o'clock hits. I go, I open up the Casablanca app. And a lot of times when you have sneakers or shoot whatever right and it's like six million people are going after it the website tends to crash mm -hmm. also what happens is is the shoe doesn't pop up right away 
because there's so much traffic going on. So at three o'clock in the morning, this shoe wasn't even available. 301, it wasn't even available. 302, it wasn't even available. It wasn't until 304 that when you finally hit refresh, mm. it came up. But what I was able to do was I was able to click on the shoe, click on my size, and then you have your selections on how you want to pay for mm -hmm, things, mm -hmm. right? Never hit add to cart when you know it's a sneaker that everybody wants. Because if you hit add to mm -hmm. cart and you go through the process, yep. you I've, have I've zero. I've taken L's. I've taken you L's. You will have the, no shot. I've taken L's due to the add to cart. Yes, you will have no shot. You always need to either hit shop pay. So download you shop pay. It's the purple thing. The uh, It'll say shop on it. You need to download that because some websites will have, be shop pay friendly. Mm -hmm. Do it to PayPal because some places will be PayPal friendly. Yep. And Apple Pay, a lot of places will be Apple Pay friendly. So what I was able to do was I was able to hit Apple Pay and then click accept, and that was it. I had the shoe by 305. Yeah. Sometimes the PayPal has been good for me too. But like we've said in other episodes, like if you ever got to start entering your information, like you've already lost. You're done. Have the, I You're mean, done. there was, what was the situation where I didn't have the face ID set up? So You're just done. have everything because. Everything has to be aligned. Yeah. I mean, if you. I didn't know it was that deep, but it's yes. that serious. Like, yes. it's if that you, serious. If you have to. if You'll take, you, yeah, you're going to learn. Yeah, if you have to add in anything, if you miss yep. a step, if you're a step too slow, you yep. have no shot because you're going to not only are you going against other people like us, you're going actu against actual computers that yep. are literally auto selecting everything and they're beating the system, right? Because someone Bots. has a bot exactly yep. buying multiple pairs of shoes. Now, I do want to say that this 327 sold out immediately, but the 237 sat for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and I even contemplated uh, buying them, right? Because I was like, oh, well, I got the 237 in the other, in the, in the, the lighter colorway of this shoe. But I was like, nah, I need to save money. I really wanted this. And so I went after it. And I'm like, I'm just content with it. I just couldn't really believe I caught a W on it. That's really what it was. Man. But man, here they are. Look, it's fire, ain't it? These is dope. I mean, I'm not super, super hyped on this, the shoe as a whole. Mm hmm. This one in particular, mm -hmm. like, because I don't really like the back. Like, I think I've shared that on other podcasts. Yeah, but I don't know why you don't like the back, though. I think it's that's too, the... it's too much. But this mm -hmm. colorway mm -hmm. is dope. I'm already seeing this leather on the end there. Like, yeah. it's some solid. It's quality. This is high qual. High qual <laughs> right quoi. here. I, high qual. Like, quoi. yo, this just... leather is real. Yeah. yeah, Casablanca don't play. And then, you know, we've been kind of saying this is like a little Gucci pattern ish mm -hmm. like it's really dope in person and then they got the suede smells, hits smells amazing. the tongue is super lightweight mm -hmm. they even try even to keep the shoes pattern. just light in general yeah. if actually you get it in hand and, and this this le soft. this is leather this white this part is actual leather this ain't and no smooth, like faux leather this is yeah leather. it's smooth like some butter like yeah. this is the quality it's quality shoe right here it's a quality yeah. shoe i mean if you think about it too even like there's no manufacturing errors, you know what I mean? Like where you can see glue stains or glue yeah. marks. It's just Y'all better is not like, give me no glued up one. Well, no, you'll see. The more shoes you start to collect, yeah. you'll realize that you might have a manufacturing you got a mistake. flaw here and there. <laughs> yeah, you got, <laughs> you got, you got, the, got the mistake shoes. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you this like, here. Man. Man. <laughs> but this here, these ones are flawless. It's, yeah, great, great work, you know. I don't know who the man was behind this. Look at the this, fancy little eyelets on yeah, the on the play. shoelace. This is gold right here, mm -hmm. like it's metal. Mm -hmm. This is a this is quality, so I'm giving them points. Whenever yes. you just have some real leather, look at the yes. end, like yes, good. This is dope. I just I'm not a fan of like just the silhouette kind of. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be something I would rock, but this design, the colors, and everything else is like ten out of ten. Like these colors are nice. It's like got a little Christmassy feel. Like you it can does. wear this with a little ugly Christmas sweater. Yeah, you, you already know I'm ready. You know right? we putting these we putting these yeah. fits together. We are we thinking yeah. ahead. Look, we we already in the holidays. Mm -hmm. It's we the already holiday in the day season. But yeah, I mean Blair coming out with two cops already. I know I got. Lucky. Um, but it had been a minute though. I don't think we've. No, nah, no, nah, that had definitely been a minute since I bought a shoe because yeah. the shoe I got before that. Man, I couldn't even tell you. I want to say it was like the Hirachi, the Stussy Hirachi, I think. Yeah. We were talking about, we were talking about on here. That was it. That was back in, oh, I want to say like February or something like that. Yeah. It had been a while. 
Um, but on that note, let's get into some like releases coming up here. Okay. Uh, first, I wanted to start with a quick poll because Sneaker News posted mm-hmm. all of uh, these off-white um, Air Force Ones, and they were like, "Which is the best colorway?" Mm-hmm. And I mean, for me, the answer is simple. All right. Mm-hmm. They got the first of all. I think which came out first? I think that blue mm-hmm. Air Force One dropped. Then I think the white Air Force One off-white. Sorry, these are all Virgils off-white. Then the black off white, and then this yellow hasn't even dropped yet. Um, but they left it up to the fans just to like you know see what uh, was just like pick people's brains about what's the best one. Mm-hmm. The yellow, hands down, is that best Air Force One off white. Oh yeah, without it, I didn't even it know. Drops, the, I didn't even know the answer, but I would I would say yeah. yellow is by yeah. far. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you know what the people said, but they threw that out there. I don't know what the results were, Got but it's, it's got to be the yellow one um, by far. And black's got to be last. Yeah, second's got to be that blue mm-hmm. for me. Third, the white, and then fourth, the, the black. The fourth, you just put on if you're going to go rob a house. Yeah, if you want to go stab somebody real quick, <laughs> throw on them black ones. And I like black forces yeah. because obviously I got the the Paranoid G-Jag, G-Dragon shoes. So, But it just didn't work with the off-white. But that yellow off-white, whenever that drops, if I do not get the shoe... Well, you're not, but yeah. If you, I'm you, about to okay, be... So I, I, but when I get it for resale, it's like... At this point, it's just going to be what I'm willing to pay because, yeah, yeah I mean, talk about a shoe that I got to have. You know, I'll yeah. be rocking that yellow. Y'all know I'm yellowed out. Yeah, these, And if I don't get those off-whites, fire. it's something that is going to fly off the shelves. I feel like he's going to do a limited uh, kind of run of them. Mm-hmm. And the resale is going to be crazy because, I mean, I think the blue one started off at least 500 on the resale. Dang. When those light blues came out, yes. everybody I mean, was on just, those light blue yeah. off whites. But like I've been saying for you know all fifty episodes, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get some some off white something. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I would like Serena to start. was the first one you wanted, dude. That's that's the hope. That's mm-hmm. the uh, white whale. <laughs> if I get those the yeah. Serena Williams, what are yeah. they? What is hers? The ninety seven Air Max or yeah. something? Mm-hmm. If I get the Serena Williams with that rainbow and that rose gold, mm-hmm. please. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a copper century, but they retailing at like twelve hundred. Yeah, and it ain't coming down. Twelve hundred. It ain't coming down either. That's gotta be like one of the highest retails besides Tom Sachs. Besides what? Yeah, those like uh, Red October. Tur- yeah, Yeezy Turtle Dove. Yeah, like those are one of like really the truly white whales that will mm-hmm. never that I'll never get. Um, but, I think my NMDs and stuff are getting up there too, my Pharrells. Are they really? Yeah, I believe they're getting up there. I'm um, these these prices are disrespectful, mm-hmm. but I need something off white. But make you spit. Yeah, they make me want to spit for real. Mm-hmm. Um, but maybe the the Chucks, because I see the Chucks are re-releasing. Yeah, yeah. The off-white Chuck Taylors are re-releasing, so maybe I'll have to get a pair of those. But I don't even be rocking Chucks like that for me to yeah, really go after. Good. Although I do like the design, especially with the the black uh, kind of striped uh, outsole there that mm-hmm. they got. Those those are cool. But yeah. I mean, I would like it to be one of these Air Forces. We'll obviously throw up a picture of you of it for you guys. But these yellow ones, I mean, they haven't dropped yet, but I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm, it's gonna be an L. I'm gonna yeah. try to enter some raffles or something, yeah. but and then what do they release for? They they don't even release like at least two hundred, aren't they? Yeah, I think anything. They're not even does affordable. Is like two hundred outside yeah. of the I, 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 outside of the chucks. I want to say most of them are two hundred. Like two hundred, two twenty five. Mm-hmm. So you you spending out the gate. Yeah. So even if you win a raffle, they give you the privilege <laughs> to spend all your dang money. Yeah. You uh, have so the privilege sucks. to pay yeah. a lot of money. Uh huh. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I want to start and get Blair's quick thoughts on that. But we definitely agree, gold is number one. Yeah. Followed by the blue. The blue is tough. Yeah. And then I see all these people rocking the blue, mm-hmm. and it just looks so good with everything. Mm-hmm. Like the blue, the throw on some better, but yeah. yeah, throw on some shorts mm-hmm. with the blue. Throw on some pants. Throw on some boot cut. Whatever. Like mm-hmm. the blues. Like the way people be putting these fits together. Shout out to all y'all because you guys are killing it. The black is disgusting. It's a heinous crime, mm-hmm. and that's coming from someone that'll rock a black Air Force. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the white shoes, you know, it's basic. It's your basic white shoe. Um, but the next thing I saw were these human races. Uh, Pharrell, but he's coming out with a new little silhouette there. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I don't know much about these. Yeah. But I want to know a little bit more because I'm liking these better than the, the standard. Don't start. Don't don't finish. No. The, don't finish the sentence. But I do. I do think they are. Clean. I'm liking them better than the don't standard. Co- the, the standard. Uh, fi- what I just say. Don't finish the sentence. It's not silhouette. better than the than the. I'm original. liking it better than the standard silhouette. That's what I'm saying. This is better. It's got more pointed, angled. Uh, Cause you know what the, the 
the standard ones look a little flimsy. This one looks like it's going to support you. Like, it looks like you could take off. Like, you can kind of hoop in it. It looks like the Adidas basketball shoe, too, a little bit. Um, but they are called, what are they called? Adidas Human Race Sakona, uh, which is set to drop this summer. We'll throw up a picture, but um, do you know anything about these? I, I saw that picture all over the internet, and I was like, dang, these, I was like, dang, these is kind of clean. They tough. You know, I was like, they're kind of clean. And but... I ain't really been on the human races like that. I haven't even been on Adidas uh, besides what? A campus? Yeah. I ain't even been on Adidas like that besides a standard campus. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, James Harden. And the and the shoe exactly the Harden Volume Ones. Yeah, but Harden like, Volume Ones in the standard campus three stripe, that's it. But this is making me a little bit of a fan those here. Those is not better than the NMDs. I mean, you gotta stop playing. To so me, you, they're better than you NMDs. Gotta, you gotta stop playing. And yeah. I think this might be a. Don't it look like you'd be a basketball shoe? Yeah, it looks like you can hoop in these. Yeah, the other NMDs. And I think that might be what lifestyle. I like. Mm -hmm. That mean, what might be what I like. It's less lifestyle and more, mm -hmm. um, you know, performance. But we'll keep you updated on these. Uh, it's just something I saw. It's a little sneak peek. You know, Sneaker News likes to drop things. Yeah, and, yes, they do. And uh, five years in advance, and then you'll, be, yeah, you'll come back exactly. to it like, oh, these finally I come forgot, out, yeah, huh? I forgot about them, yep. Yeah, so we'll keep you posted on those. They look like they are the Human Race Sakonas by Pharrell. Mm -hmm. um, you know Pharrell and his Adidas, they hand in hand. Yep. Um, he got that sweet little deal there. But these look tough, so I'm going to be on the lookout for these. But I have a feeling they're going to be gone. Mm-hmm. Snatched up right away. Uh, let's get into this Jordan Aaliyah May uh, collab here. Aaliyah May, I think she's a fashion designer that had one of the first kind of uh, Jordan One collabs for a woman. Okay. Um, and she's coming back. What is this? The sixteen? No. Thirteen? Um, no, that's the fourteen. Fourteen. Sorry. You know, hey, any Jordan above a twelve, <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Right. I don't know, for real. I don't rock with it. That's why I didn't even know the number. But it's the Jordan 14 um, by Leah May. Now, look, mm -hmm. I'm a fan of the woman. Um, I like that, you know, she kind of put her little stamp on the Jordan 1 here. She was the first woman to get that kind of collab. Mm -hmm. I'm liking these colors, but you don't get, get rid of that ugly silhouette. I'm sorry. This... The 14 is disgusting. So, I, I, I'll keep saying this. So, Mike's favorite shoes are... The the Jordan thirteen, mm -hmm. the Jordan fourteen, mm -hmm. the Jordan eleven, mm -hmm. and then the Jordan um, three. Well, we got the three in common. Yeah. So, but my point. But they might be is, honestly. Was he focused on performance? Because I feel like yeah, the fourteens can you can probably do a little something because you can lace them up real tight. Look, they got the yeah, narrow kind of lacing pattern. Like they look like they'll you know you you can choke up on them real good. Get that but ankle support. My point is, but as far is, as that like shows that you sleep. My I'm awake. Cause what you gonna rock that with? Do you uh, even have four jeans? Nah, I don't. Okay, well, why I want, you got What a pair? you mean? Nah, it's it's different. It's different. It's different. I do. I want the the black and reds. I do. I'm but sorry, I'm just, I can't know. rock with these. But how are you feeling about the colors? I like the colors that she's throwing on there. They not OG. That green. They not OG. That's how I feel about them. But, so you don't um, like them. Yep. But I like that she has a collab. I like that, you know, Nike's working with women as well. I do think that that's fantastic. But as far You're as You're not like, feeling the green? Um, nah. I mean, if it's not going to be... It's kind of a be, cool color green. We'll throw up a picture. Like, that I don't is think kind it's of a nice little. Enough. I like that it's a little bit more simple, though. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to see her do too much. Because all you're doing, you're not changing the look. All you're doing is throwing some color. So make it subtle. I, I think you got to make it stand out. All right, I don't if, know. if you're gonna get a if you're gonna get an OG purist like me to want a cop, I think you gotta I think you gotta do more than that. See, I don't think that there's that many OG purists because this shoe gonna sell out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> are OG purists? There are, but I don't think it's that many I think that you're thinking. Then why do the shoes sell out so fast? Because people want to sell them. That if there was no profit in selling sneakers, you would still there. You would be able to go to stores and get these sneakers now. Like you used Look, to be able to do back in the all day. All I know is these sneakers flying off the shelves way too fast to for profit. people to be to, for people to be worried about, you know, whether it's an OG or not. Now the OGs do disappear faster than anybody's yeah, business they, as well, for, and then resell yeah. at you know a whole rack. But mm -hmm. it is what it is. But as far as the colors, I'm feeling the colors. I just could never rock a 14. That's the only thing. Mm -hmm. I'm down. Give me some green on a shoe. I'm down. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know. I'm sorry, I can't do it. But shout out to Leah May. 
Um, I know she, you know, started at PacSun and kind of worked her way up. So even PacSun's her, good. PacSun slaps, but you know, back in the day, you know, I think she's been what well, she's might be like a little bit more towards your age, but um, yeah, I think that was where her roots. <laughs> what? You just trying to make me seem old, Blair? I'm just saying. I'm trying to give the people. A look of what she where she was, you know, working at, at PacSun in you know the early two thousands. That was she was getting her start, and now look at her. She's designing Jordan. So I'm saying, then she got to be shout older out. than me if she was working with. She might be look, or she could be like 30, 31. I don't know. Okay, I don't know Aaliyah's whole personal life. I just read her a little bit background. All right, what's the next? She, what's she's the next interested segment? in fashion. What's the next? Started segment? at PacSun, and now she's designing Jordans. But PacSun used to be the ish. Mm-hmm. PacSun was the. I still a. like. I still like PacSun. I like PacSun for little things now. I don't go really for the clothes, but mm-hmm. I go for like little accessories and little hitters or like quick tees. But you all know we urban gang out here. Mm-hmm. Um, urban and I, and yeah, because I put you on. Put me uh, on what? Urban Blair. Sydney. Don't you Blair? Don't you do it. You did not put me on Blair. Urban. Okay, now you're just gonna be lying. Sydney Blair, God's gonna strike uh, some lightning down right now because mm. you, you know you're lying. He ain't For do it. Years, he didn't do it, so I must be telling the truth. Years, I said go to Urban, but it's cool. Whatever, you don't want to give credit where credit's due. Look, let's get into this next release. <laughs> uh, Union Los Angeles, guys. We've showed the pictures yeah. of these, the desert uh, moss and the top or taupe. Hayes uh, coming out, the Union Fours. They had a home run with the first ones, which mm-hmm. were the what? Oh, remind me of the names. What were they? Oh, for the, the, the Fours? Yeah. The Noir. Mm-hmm. And the then, Noir was one. What else? I don't know. I don't remember the other one. But yeah, Noir was but one. But woo! One. Y'all know what they are. The Union Fours. I might have said it might have been the best shoe I've seen. Or this year, I don't you know. You know, you did. You said it was like all time. Yeah, it might have been. It still is. Mm-hmm. Um, whew, I need that and shoe, but I'm not going to get it. Uh, but anyways, they're coming out with two more colorways. Look, they don't hold a candle to what those original um, colorways were doing. But they are kind of interesting. The more that I look at it, the desert moss, I don't know if that's more of the yellow one or more of the gray one. Because mm-hmm. they always just put them together. Yeah. Um, we'll obviously throw up a picture. But I'm interested more in whatever this yellow one is. Okay. But again, it don't hold a candle to the first one. So again, I think Union is trying to find lightning in a bottle. Mm-hmm. And they already did it once. And yeah, you're not going to be able to do it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do it again. But nah. But, but they're coming but, out this month. That's what I wanted to say, is that they're releasing this month. So if you guys are interested in those fours, uh, two more colorways from Union, mm-hmm. you know, just continue to listen to this podcast, A, and then yeah, B, we'll just keep news. and then keep your eye out for the, the Union fours. But I do want to say that at the same time, they, they do this, though, because with the Jordan 1s Union, they gave out the first set, and then they gave out a second set as well. And the second set wasn't necessarily better than the first set. But I think they try to give you two versions each time for a new silhouette. So hopefully maybe like the threes or something are next and we can really yeah. see that happen. Yeah. Because if they do the threes in the colorways that they did for the first two Even fours. The twos. Blair, get out of here. You need... <laughs> now he on twos and now this is look upable. You guys can go back and see how he reacted every time I said Jordan two. So nah, don't even do that. I'm messing no. with you. I know no. I'm playing with you no. right now. I'm not um, serious. I but don't want to see them do the two. But no, it, like you said, though, if they did the threes and those, whatever, it was like Java something and Noor mm-hmm. colorways, they got something. So anyway, nothing will top what they did first, but Union's back. They're back with two new colorways, mm-hmm. and they're releasing this month. We are in June, people, so pay attention. Uh, we'll continue to give, keep you posted as we get more information. Um... One other thing I want to talk about on sneakers, we're shifting to the sneakers app here. You know, we got to get it through our whole little uh, simulation here. The one thing I want to talk about with you is the Lahars are dropping in another colorway. Did you see? No, what? Yeah. Is it heat? Kind of. <laughs> kind of heat? Kind of heat, kind of not. A look. I might be wearing my Lahars tomorrow too, by the way. Okay. I might be breaking them out. I'm trying to see. Or I might go with my Jordans. I don't know. Um, but as far as the Lahars, the the canvas. Yeah, I hadn't been on sneaker uh new or on yeah, the app yet. I gotta browse. Oh it. dang, yeah, these are tough. Yeah, so I got clowned by the old heads for my original uh 
Lahars, you know, they were in that kind of uh, suede, uh, light brown uh, mm -hmm. upper, and now they're dropping in the same. It's still kind of light brown, um, but it's more of a canvas colorway, and it's called Grain. Um, they're more expensive. These are 130, and the ones I got were 120. I wonder if it's the so, materials. I, it's the canvas material, maybe that extra on the toe cap there, because mm -hmm. it looks like some leather on the toe cap, mm -hmm. making it a little bit more pricey. But I want to be 100% honest, I'm not feeling this colorway or this kind of upper construction as much as I am with the, the ones that I yeah. got. The what other ones is better, but I would still say that these are clean, though. You would still, you would, you would cop? Um, not those ones. Been, There's yeah. the OG, OG ones that we saw on the internet. And those ones, I would, but, I would, I would. The minute they drop, I'd yeah. go after. Them. Not you, not feeling these grain ones. But nah, I, I think they're clean. To be yeah. honest with you, I do think they're clean. But I just wouldn't go for them. Now look, they will sit because they still got the black. They will sit. sitting on sneakers. So yep. don't be in a rush um, mm -hmm. to go ahead and cop these right at the seven o'clock time. Mm -hmm. uh, you could take your time a little bit. You know, wake up late, you're still good because uh, these are going to sit. But again, it's a little more canvassy. It looks a little bit less pristine to me, a little mm -hmm. bit less fancy. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of just the strip down every day. But somehow, yeah. even though it's every day, it's $10 more expensive. So I don't know. <laughs> um, but I mean, the price point's still good, though. The, the price point is great. 130 look, we can't complain. We just get nitpicky right now. But you can't complain about 130 ever. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know this is not something I'll go after. I feel like I got the best pair already. And uh, we'll see if I'm rocking them uh, tomorrow or not, you know? Uh, another shoe dropping mm -hmm. via sneakers is, I wanted to talk to you about this waffle. I'm kind of feeling this, but I already know Blair's, uh, take the woman's waffle or I don't know if it's women's, is it? No, I mean, it's just, it's just the waffle one. one. Cause I know you're going to say something about it not being an OG. Oh. That's what you was going to say, right? I mean. Yep. So I know your take. Um, but I'm kind of, I don't know, this is a shoe where I don't know if I, how I feel about it. Blair, do you have anything first? Yeah, it's a no for me. Yeah, because it's not an OG, right? Yeah, uh, it's more than that, though. Um, I kind of like them, but then I'm like, some. I, mm -mm. I'm going back and forth between notify me and don't notify me, because I'm like, do I want it or do I not? I don't think they're hard enough. I like that it's kind of just like slip on, th you know what I'm saying, like throw it on, Walk out the house for a bit. I like the little, uh, you see how the they have like. feet ain't bad though. Go ahead. Yeah. It's not bad. And I like how it kind of has like the little stitching pattern, like mm -hmm. the little touches there. Mm -hmm. I like the color, obviously, 110%. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, like, if this is something I would really rock. Guys, let us know your thoughts on these, on the waffles. Uh, act Jesus. Active Future. Yeah. Fuchsia. Colorway, sorry, active fuchsia. These better be in some in, in your local Nike outlet. They yeah. will be. They I feel be. like they're gonna sit. I feel like you're gonna yeah. find them at outlets. They're a hundred bucks, so don't break the bank, please. Uh, you'll be set. You know, a hundred bucks. What? That tests very well on the slate rate. Yeah, it does. Um, but you gotta, man. You gotta. You, you're banking on a um a celebrity to wear, to wear these if you wanted to gain any type of ground. Cause right about. But now, see, I kind of like that. It might not be seen. By a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of intrigued by that idea that I'm going to have something people are going to be like, oh, what's that? Like, oh, okay, she got on that. I ain't really seen it, you know? Yeah, I haven't seen those. Before. Yeah. Mm. So I'm interested, but I don't know if I'm all the way interested enough to, to wake up at 7. Um, I'll be up. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but to be up at 7 trying to cop, you know? Mm -hmm. But I've seen some things on there that I'm going to, uh, you see, I opened mine up to hit remind me for. What you, what you reminding you? Those dunks and stuff. See, I'm out the game on the dunks. Y'all know how I feel about these dunks. Like, can oh, we chill? Know, you know, I got, I got money interest. But exactly, that's what I was gonna ask you <laughs> next. Is that because you want to sell? Yeah. So go ahead, get into the dunks that you're thinking about copping right now. June fifteenth, dunk. High yeah, Bush, Blair. If you wear those, Sydney, you are gonna lose all credibility. Sydney. Those is the ugliest shoes I've seen He's in smart. my life. No, oh, the dunks. Oh, the other ones. Oh. You know, what I'm talking about them ugly dunks. And look, we we ain't been on the dunk, so don't Jesus try to. Jesus fire too. Though. Yeah, don't try to come for us talking about. Oh, now they hating on the dunk. We've been hating on the dunks. No, all right, we've true. been off it. That's true. There's been like one pair that I might have said was heat. So uh. -uh. Look how many things I'm getting notified. I'm going after all of these. I'm not even playing with you. 
Um, all right, so tell the people, last... tell the people what you're going after real quick before we all get right, to the so, next one. All right, so so I opened up the uh, the app, and I always hit notify me. I'll probably take an L on all of these, but you never know. So I opened it up, the Jordan One Light Fusion Red. Uh, I hit notify. That's me. what I was going to get into real quick before you move on. I'm feeling that light fusion red. Yeah, they clean. They clean. They clean, but I, I'm still not going to wear them. You wouldn't them. wear them. You wouldn't buy them to wear. Uh -uh. I'm going to hit notify me because I'm getting these to rock. Um, it's it, What is that? Like a pink? Mm -hmm. Is that a pink and a yeah. pink and yellow and a little bit of orange there? It's, it's a cop for me. Um, okay. And they're dropping at 170. So mm -hmm. not, I mean, that's not great, to be honest. 170, I feel like that's a little high. 170 is about the regular price that goes for a Jordan for. one. Mm -hmm. A little oh, steep for me, guys, but that light fusion, I'll throw up a, uh, a picture of that. I mean, it's heat to me. Yep. That was one of the releases that I want to discuss with Blair. Uh, Looks like we both agree, but for different reasons, right? Yep. And then Dunk, uh, the Dunk Low, Michigan State colorway and oh. Michigan colorway. I hit notify me for both of those two. I also hit it for the other one that you don't like. Um, the one that you were saying was hideous and I would lose all credibility. It the Dunk the, High uh, Ambush. Jordan one, yeah, uh, Fragment Dunk High am one yeah. Ambush, whatever. Um, the Dunk High Ambush, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, and I have the Fragment Dunk High design I had remind me for those. So basically I'm trying to go, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to cash out if, if I can. You know, chances are, I, I feel like my chances are good that I'll hit on one of these yeah. just because it's like if I'm going after six shoes, I should be able yeah. to win on one of them. Yeah. Um, but none of them are really heat, if we're being honest. I you don't do, think the Fusions? Except for the Fusions. Except for the Fusions. And I do think the Michigans, they are clean. And I do think the Michigan States are clean. And then the Jordan 3s. And those are dunk lows, by the way. Those are dunk lows, by the way. And then these Jordan 3s, I mean, they Jordan 3s. So Jordan 3 says Nike Air on the back. Got a vintage vibe to it. They fire. Yeah. But yeah. all that, like, dunk high, fragment. Strictly, strictly cash. Strict, yeah. Strictly cash Strictly out. not for me. Yeah. That was tough. But anyway, so, so far, coming up on the sneakers, it looks like I'm only interested in two. The Jordan 1 Fusion and then... Um, Potentially these waffle ones. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If I if I should cop for the waffle ones, I'm willing to cop for the price. But let me know if I should pull the trigger. I'm gonna go to the people for this. Y'all let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, that dunk high purple is kind of dope, but it's a little. It might be a little bit too white for me. Like it need more purple in it. You know. Yeah. No, I feel you. I feel but, you. I feel you. But it's a chance to cop and, and cash out for Blair, so he going after it. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm looking at these prices, man, and a lot of these prices are still going, I mean, for $400 and stuff for these shoes. It's like, how could how could I not, you know? Yep. Some of these resale prices is outrageous. You already know. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as that, that was all I had as far as releases. Um, Blair, anything else before we kind of sign off here? Um, yeah, I love these, uh, Nike, um, Air Max 90, uh, hot coral colorway. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of the OG colorways, this one, and then the actual infrared. So it's kind of cool to see them. Uh, they're 140 and they're just still basically almost still a full size run just about. Oh, uh, those are, uh, okay. That's available right now. If you guys mm -hmm, want those, the mm -hmm. Air Max 90. In uh, that in coral, coral, co hot yeah. coral colorway. Okay. So, yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad looking shoe. I think it's fire. And I mean, it's one of those jeans, but it's just like, man, I'm, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I really don't need to be um, every shoe I get. Like, because it's like all those shoes that I just selected right now, like I would have the intent to buy and to sell. But if this one comes into my grabs, I'm going to be stuck holding them because I'm going to be debating on, am I wearing these? Am I wearing yep. these? Am I wearing these? And then... You know, they may not even get worn, so it's just like I'm I can love them from afar, you know. Yep. But um I did want to say that uh shout out to this uh I don't even want to call them up and coming because I think they're starting to arrive and gain some type of attention. But it, uh they're out here in Los Angeles and uh South Central. Uh Bricks and Wood is the um clothing company. I feel like I saw it or I saw something with like brick and sand. I don't know. I don't know, Brick and I don't know. I don't know. Sand. I don't know. It might have been Brick and but, Wood, and um, I got the name mixed up. But uh, yeah, so they're out here. They're local. Um, I'm trying to support them. I'm trying to get my hands on like a couple T-shirts to just you know show the support. But um, they're doing uh, they they're doing a collab right now with New Balance. And shout out to New Balance for 
paving the way and working with like small companies and stuff like that, you know. I feel like they do that though. Yeah, I and continuing like to push that agenda love, yeah. because they're trying to move up and be like Nike and be Adidas or be better uh-huh. than them. You know what I mean? And sometimes to do that, you got to work with uh, younger people, um, work with people that have a really good vision um, and, and also can foresee that brand being New Balance uh, up in the rafters and as high as, you know, it can go, you know, and, you know, the sky's the limit. So, it, you know, they're continuing to work with these people and they're continuing to make things, you know, click. Because, I mean, look at what Casablanca and them are doing. Look what they're doing with this 327 silhouette. So right now they're working with Bricks and Wood. They released, the, um, I believe it was like the 57 slash 40. I feel um, like I've seen these. I feel like New I saw Balance. Them. Yeah, it's like all green just about, yeah. like a little bit and of white. And then they did a pink one or a no, not no? not yet, not yet. Maybe they released images or, of it. Yeah, I think there was images of like a red one that okay. popped up too. I know what um, you're talking about though. But so brick and, bricks and wood had it on their website the other day, sold out instantly. You oh, had it already do, released. You had so you had to do a raffle, but in about five days it's gonna also release worldwide, which I do expect to sell out. And because of this sneaker, I feel like it's gonna make bricks and wood grow as a brand as well. Yep. Because they've only been around since like twenty fourteen. Okay. But once the shoe sells out and people are like all over the shoe, right? They're gonna just be like, Well, what about the company in general? And then they're gonna realize, oh dang, they sell shirts. They do like, because uh, they're also like this like film company or whatever, you know, and that they, they do, you know, okay. stuff basically besides clothing, you know. And so it's just, yeah, I mean, shout out to them being local just like us, yep, yep. you know. Sounded real slate lace from, yeah, from the roots. So, yeah. Yep. Um, Good for them. But that's dope. Yeah. I, mean, I think, I mean, I feel like I've seen the green shoe that they put out, the New Balance. Okay. I had the kind of wavy yep. outsole. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. Yep. I saw that's those. That. Yep. I, yep. Those were dope. Those mm-hmm. was dope. Mm-hmm. Um, but shout out to them. Uh, it, it sounds like it's going to be a sellout. Uh, yep. Something that's going to disappear right away. So good um, luck to you. I was, I was, shoot, I was wanting to get the New Balance T to match it with my Casablanca. That would have been dope. That would have been but, dope. Uh, yep. Sold out yep. immediately. There yeah, they go. See? Yep. Yeah. So um, okay, well, shout out. Keep your mm-hmm. eye on them. I definitely will mm-hmm. give them a little follow. You know, I'm interested. But look, Union was small, and now look at them. I know, and now they're huge. Now Union, shoot, Union, he can't be bothered. Yep. So, yeah. New Balance T. That's dope. From South Central with love. That's awesome. They even got New Balance. Just It just says New Balance on it, see? But all this stuff sold out, though. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a company we hope to... You know, kind of be like as well. Shoot, mm-hmm. when yeah. I get these shoes popping off, and these it's gonna be stuff, it's yeah. gonna be selling out just like that. Yep. Y'all gonna be like, oh yeah. Well, you should have been following Slate Lace. You should have <laughs> been. All right. Yep. Um, but anything else, Blair, on your end? No. Uh. Uh-uh. No, that's uh-uh. it. Uh, stay tuned. Um, continue to stick with us. Next week we'll be doing a film review, um, and then obviously we'll get right back into some shoes. Maybe we'll have something for you to unbox. Mm-hmm. Um, but on that note, it's the Slate Lace Gang. Yep. We're out. We're out.